Hello and good morning. Welcome to beautiful paradise outside of Woodsprate where I landed and spent the last however many days just taking it really easy. Good morning. Good morning everybody. <sighs> just calling to check in, let everybody know what's been going on with me the last few days. I've been uh, taking it very easy. Uh, the elephant energy of course has been coursing through me since my trail. I've been just reflecting and delving into what's been going on, what happened, catching up with my trail and also um, yeah, you know, catching up on admin. You know, I uh, spent the last couple months sort of out of signal, out of admin range and caught up on a lot of stuff which has been good. Um, also been looking to to promote a few of the trails for next year for Pafuri uh, with regards to walking trails and then also I'm currently in the process of uh, finalizing my first women's trail. I've uh, already pretty much got the participants booked uh, so to all you ladies out there that have been dying for a women's trail um, there is one that I've been requested to do by um, a group of ladies I know from the Garden Route, part of my tribe, my community, that uh, want me to host their trail. So I'm just in the process of finalizing that. And that's going to be in September. After a string of normal trails that I have, I'm going to be taking some ladies into the wilderness. So quite excited about that. Quite excited about how that's going to bring. And also feel very honored for them to, to trust me as a man to... To hold that space for them because my whole initial idea of women's trail was to get female facilitators to facilitate the trail entirely for the females so that they can open up but they feel very happy and confident with me so that is a incredible honor incredible honor makes me feel quite happy and quite fulfilled so just in the process of finalizing that and uh, quite exciting times with that regard because uh, i'm going to do it in Pafuri. yes in Pafuri. The land of giants, the land of magical fever trees and baobabs and elephants. And a few birds too, if you like your birds. And the Levuvu and the Limpopa River. If you've been following my Instagram stories, you probably notice quite a number of the pictures I posted in the last week of my trail there. And uh, still still unpacking a little bit. It was really special to, to take Marion and her family out. And uh, I've got a couple more lined up now in July. Uh, two to the end of the month and then I've got a number I think three or four next month into September uh, so quite excited to be delving into that quite exciting excited to be exploring Pufuri again and to to remembering all those little haunts those little nooks and crannies that I I knew so well and also to just continue the birding because it is a birding hotspot a birding mecca and uh, those of you who haven't been to Pufuri before or haven't been on safari before um, it's really tricky to understand the diversity of the habitats that Pufuri offers, the, the two different rivers coming together, Limpopo, Levuvu, one coming through really nice basalt ridges, one coming through the sandstone, provides a very different mix of habitats on either river. A uh, fever tree forest that spans about 17 kilometers, which is really a magical, magical place, and so many different areas of that fever tree forest to be explored, but they all live and thrive on a very clay-rich soil that pretty much every year, almost every year, sometimes every second year, gets properly inundated. Um, and then the clay doesn't really allow any other vegetation or trees to grow. And that is a very magical place. Very, very magical place. Very mystical. Very mystical and far away place that really, really blows everybody's mind every time. You know, I can talk about it. I can take pictures about it or show pictures of it. And you can all think, okay, I understand. To do land there. Yeah, you see something very different. Yeah, so just been catching up on that, everybody. Catching up on um, my process for for continuing, uh, bringing in a bit of money. Um, it's nice to be working. I will be heading down to the garden route after all these trails. I'm in sort of conversation with a few people with regards to land, uh, with regards to finding land. And I've actually had a few people approach me and ask if because the journey of spirit is one of of me finding myself at the same time searching for a place to root and to ground and to find earthing and to grow food and to land and there's been a few people who've wondered how can they contribute financially and uh, i really bless you for those um, considerations and it's not something i would thought about too much before but i 
due to that and due to the the foreign nature or the international nature of some of these requests i'm i've thought long and hard about it i'm looking to maybe set up a type of gofundme page or something like that that i'm going to put out there and uh, potentially just get a little bit of uh, finances together to assist in the landing of a property so very exciting uh, very exciting and contributions on that nature are so well accepted and so well appreciated without any expectation and uh, really blessings 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 for the thoughts and the consideration um, it's not something I'd thought about before uh, but you know, the journey I'm on the journey I'm documenting is a um, it's an authentic one you know I'm revealing my my genuine true self to you there's no absolutely no expectation from any of you watching these videos to to comment or contribute to do anything you feel obliged to just whatever comes up most appreciated a little heart next to your message is really really I do read them and I do feel it very very strongly and uh, having people approach me looking to financially contribute is very very warming inside it makes me realize not that I had any doubt that this dream is very reachable probably sooner than initially anticipated yeah so thank you for that thank you for that hmm yeah absolute blessings and gratitude uh, it's quite amazing when um, when you're in flow, when you feel completely connected, that everything that needs to happen, happens. Everything that needs to flow, flows, and everything that doesn't serve gets left behind. And I feel like I'm in that space and have been for some months. I'm still on my meditation journey. I'm still on my sober journey. I don't feel like I shall drink again. Um, there's just no desire. You know, visiting a friend here, uh, they drink a glass of wine. There's no craving for me there. Uh, there's no no uh, need at all for me to change my state of mind, to, to alter anything that's going on in here at the moment, because it's full of peace, it's full of harmony, and it's very aware and very alert to what's going on. And I'm very embodied, I'm very in my chest. Uh, my body is r resonating yeses and also letting me know when things are a no very very strongly you know when i was offered money for land there wasn't a like oh i'm not sure about this my heart said yes and um, something i've struggled with in the past is acceptance of uh, of compliments or acceptance of assistance um, and something i've been working on is to be able to just embrace a compliment and say thank you you know, embrace assistance and say thank you. It comes from a good place. There's no judgment. It's someone giving you something from themselves without expectation. It's a beautiful thing. It's a very beautiful thing. And I feel that very strongly in my heart. And once again, I say thank you to those who, who comment and who, who share and who, who bless the journey that I'm on. It is a, um, it's a journey that I'm sharing with all of you because you're encouraging me to do so. And I'm feeling very overwhelmed with the support I've been given so far. So thank you for that. Um, and many of you are going to be excited to know that tomorrow afternoon, Friday, I think it is the 9th, I shall be walking at Pridelands. So you shall see me again on camera. I'll be at Pridelands from the 9th until the 22nd. So you shall see me on TV once more. Um, and I'll continue to do these check-ins because although um, I'm on my journey, I still have to make income along the way. Uh, so there's going to be lots of planning and lots of delving and lots of insights going forward. And I'm, I'm really going to try and bring this journey forward further and further as, as I land. Because that's when, excuse me, that's when these moments really become profound. When you can maintain that awareness and alertness in a state of natural being, in a state of work. Work often brings our mind takes our mind away it really often brings us back into our mind should i say it takes us out of the body because it becomes so routine work becomes mundane we start to complain about things and that's when you really are tested as a human with regards to where you are in your mindset and in your body with regards to how are you reacting to a workspace environment and that's going to be very profound for me to continue the journey and the realizations looking forward to once again living in a tent walking on pridelands and engaging with i'm not sure who the cameraman is there now i think it might be paul and um just engaging with all of you again so send through any comments you want any things that maybe i can talk about on the show but as we know there's going to be plants there's going to be things to eat there's going to be tracks and i have no doubt there's going to be some elephants 
So to all of you, thank you for listening once again to my check-in. Um, I was just surrounded by hundreds and thousands of these fever trees. Very, very magical, magical trees. And here from uh, Mica Village outside of Hootspreit, I'm saying goodbye to you and uh, check in again soon. And thank you again from the bottom of my heart for the support and the love, the compassion shared. I do feel it. It buoys me up and it makes me feel very confident moving forward. And thank you. Thank you for listening. Blessings to you and catch up with you really soon.